the MacBook Air M4. In my opinion, this is the best deal Apple has to offer right now, okay? It's the world's most popular laptop, and I think it's going to be even more popular. The design is the same, but you've got a new sky blue color. It's obviously powered by the M4 chip, which means it's going to have excellent performance, very efficient as well. So it's going to have up to 18 hours of battery life. You've got a new 12 megapixel center stage camera. It can now support two external displays with the MacBook Air display. The previous generation, you could have two external displays, but only with the lid closed. It now comes with 16 gigabytes of unified memory instead of eight gigabytes. Before you had to pay 200 extra pounds for this, and it's got a lower starting price. Apple don't usually lower the prices, but we have a lower starting price of £999 or $999. And if you're a student, you could get an extra $100 off $899 or £899. You know what? Just just stop, pause this video and just buy it already. <laughs> just buy it. <laughs> it it's, it's, honestly, I, I genuinely mean this. This is, uh, people are going to say, um, you know, sponsored by Apple, but this is genuinely one of the best deals that I've seen from Apple in recent times. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 a well priced deal. I called it, or in my hands on, I called it the this is a tariff safe device. I'm in the U.S. You know, we have on and off tariffs currently at the moment, um, but at least I believe there is a 10 percent tariff on anything coming from China. And what that means, just to quickly explain to some people, is that. It's whatever is produced there. So the, you know, the, the, at least I believe the MacBook is and so, or some parts of the MacBook are. So coming in, they should be a 10% tariff, which Apple is paying. Now, Apple decided not to include that into the price point and instead went lower in price, which to me is quite impressive. And then also, as Saf mentioned, you know, you get in for $899. Um, you know, in terms of the difference between this device and say the, the M3 variant, uh, that we had, uh, in terms of hardware look, it looks the same. Like there's no difference with the chassis look or anything like that, uh, which is fine. And honestly, you don't need to necessarily change it that much, which also helps them keep the cost down uh, as well. Yep. But the fact that Apple chose this device to really drop things down in terms of like delivering something for consumers to go like, Hey, you know what? It might be a little tough for you guys. So mm. here's $100 off already without you even thinking about it. You know, to me, it's great. And it's a solid device overall, just from what we've seen. You know, I just showed you mine. I'm still testing it. But what we've seen from what Apple has done with the M series, especially in the air, you know, it, it's it's really good. You know, I think this is, I think this is probably the point where I would say it's worth jumping from an M2 or even an M1, because I know a lot of people on M1s. I know a ton of people on yeah. M1s. So I think yeah. it's worth making that jump. And not for Apple intelligence, forget that. I'm not even going to put that into the conversation. I would mm -hmm. say one for battery life, because it's it's much better than the M1. But also, again, for the fact that you can get it in a 13 and a 15. So you've got some size variation here as well uh, mm -hmm. for you. So honestly, great deal. Great deal. And uh, this is the thing. Um, I just can't emphasize the fact that Apple never lowers their prices, right? So this is actually something new. It's like, what? They've lowered the prices? But then I think the key thing is because I was looking back at my video of the M3 MacBook Air and I was saying, I would recommend spending the extra money and going for the 16 gigabytes of unified memory because you can't upgrade it later on, right? So if you're going to be keeping this laptop, I'd say people generally keep their laptops at least four to five years, right? You mm -hmm. don't want to be kind of like, oh man, like, you know, just you, you want enough unified memory. So I, I usually advise people if you're getting it, it's like, look, I know it's 200 pounds more, but I would just say get the 16 because you need 16 gigabytes. And to be fair, they should have done that last year. Okay. But they were charging 200 pounds extra for that last year. So now if we compare last year's model, right? 1100 plus 200, 1300. So mm -hmm. technically what you're getting right now is 300 less. Right? Yes. So this is the thing. Um, I can just imagine the comments, man. People are going to be hating this. They're like, these Apple fanboys are going. But no. honestly, like, it is a very good deal. Now, there are other, obviously, Windows alternatives and stuff like that. But in terms of the fact that this is the world's most popular laptop, right? I think it's going to sell like hotcakes. Yeah, I, I think I think it would I think it would do well. But I don't think it would sell like hotcakes. I said this a while back. I think Apple is facing true diminishing returns because of how good the M1 was. They seriously have hampered themselves in such a weird luck where their success, <laughs> because I know people who have M1s and they, you know, I have friends who reached out and I'm like, oh, that's really nice. And I'm like, yeah, 
they're like, mm, you know, I don't really, I don't think I need to upgrade just because again, it's, it's do, work, do it I, works. It works well. Do I need to? No, there's no slowdowns. It's not the days of the Intel MacBooks where like you had those palpitations. You're like, maybe I should, maybe I should start. <laughs> <laughs> start, start, start. You, you watch, it's like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we detected irregular heartbeat. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You're not, you're not in that era anymore. So I think it's going to uh, be quite interesting to see how well it does. Plus, you know, maybe this is also some of that operational things of like, we've had the same chassis for three years on the the air, right? So hmm. it, it costs less there. The biggest change here really is the chip and the camera and that's it yeah um yeah. so you know maybe they can actually afford to actually put it down plus remember that m chip also is in ipads as well ipads pros so hmm. there's a cost benefit that's spread across that apple's like you know what let's pass it on to the consumer which is great again you know safa said they are windows alternatives um you know whether it's from intel or amd that are really solid but we're talking about you know one of the best-selling laptops there a laptop that also um also changed the way laptops were perceived remember the macbook air with the m1 changed the way we look at laptops now as 100 well. percent. yeah so so it's really impressive to see that um and i think you know even though you guys some of you might go like you know these guys are just fanboying just remember i am a pc head through and through Completely. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's just so there you go. You, you've heard it from the man himself, right? A PC man. This is a great deal. And, you know, I, I still think, I think you're right that Apple kind of shot themselves in the foot because they, they did so well with the M series that people with the M1, they're like, I, I, I can go to the M6, M7. Keep going. Keep going. This is fine. <laughs> it's doing me fine, right? And especially if you look at the user, right? The M1 user yeah. is generally somebody who's, you know, needs that battery life, is going to be using. Is is not less. Uh, you've got Apple Intelligence as well. So if 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 we do want to go there to Apple Intelligence, all M series chip supports it, right? So you don't like thinking, what else am I going to get from this, right? Is it really worth it for me? But for new customers, this is the thing. And it's, if somebody's on an Intel one, you like, you're still kind of on the fence. Like, do I still need it? Boom. You know, this is this is the one. If you if you're thinking of getting a new laptop, if you're thinking of upgrading one of your older laptops, I think this is this is a very good deal right now. And I'm actually surprised that Apple are offering this. Yeah. No. Definitely.